Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the camera review for this uh, Leco LE2 which has a 16 megapixel uh, rear facing camera and I'll also be comparing it with the Redmi Note 3 which has a 13 megapixel camera. I've taken actually a lot of sample shots in varying lighting conditions with both these devices so that should give you an idea which one uh, has a better camera. The thing is that the LE2 uh, can also do video recording at 4K officially. Officially that option is not there on the Redmi Note 3. But I don't think so that matters too much because after you see the sample, you'll understand that. And the interface for this LE2 is very similar to the earlier Leco devices. We can switch between the video, slow motion and the photo uh, mode. And uh, you can also access further settings by going to this menu. And as you can see, if you go to the video, uh, it can go all the way up to 4k so i have shot samples at 1080p and even at 4k i'll show you all that uh, options later on and the basic interface is very simple uh, you have this interface and you can just hit this to take the shot and you can also hit the, on this to tap to focus but one thing you'll immediately notice is that and this was the problem even with the le1s and even the redmi note 3 also has this option whenever you use this tap to focus for example i'm going to do that now it sort of overexposes at time for example let me show you let me take the snap without uh, hitting the tap to focus uh, this one is without hitting the tap to focus as you can see the exposure was good but when i actually use the tap to focus it slightly overexposes at time so you have to be careful with that now let me actually show you the sample shot so that you can get a better idea. So these are the sample pictures that I shot with the Leco LE2 and as you can see in good lighting the pictures come out to be really good even in terms of color reproduction it is really good but let's uh, compare some of the pics that I took with the Redmi Note 3 in different lighting situations to see how they perform. In good outdoor lighting like this, I feel the Leco LE has a little bit of more sharpness. It's very clear in this uh, picture, the Leco is sharper. But when it comes to bokeh background effect, I feel the Redmi Note 3 does better at the expense of sharpness. There is a little bit of difference in the way they reproduce colors. The Redmi Note 3 uh, saturates the color a little bit more, but in terms of sharpness, again, uh, the LE2 comes out to be sharper. Here again, I would give the vote to the LE2 because the Redmi Note 3 picture looks a lot redder than it is naturally. A difficult shot for both the devices. The dynamic range is certainly better on the Redmi Note 3, but again the LE2 has more detail and the subject actually stands out. But uh, both the devices actually overexpose the background and they're blown out. This is a picture with the flash and I feel here the Redmi Note 3 did better because its flash uh, uh, covered a lot more area, whereas the LE2's flash is a little bit more concentrated. Now moving to low light situations and here I disabled the flash and here as you can see the picture with the LE2 is a lot better. Yes, both of them have a lot of noise but I would give the vote again to the LE2 because the Redmi Note 3 couldn't even capture the correct color of the wall which the LE2 did. Another picture in very low lighting conditions and here again both the phones struggle considerably but again I have to give the vote to the LE2 because the color reproduction is better on the LE2 whereas on the Redmi Note 3 the picture looks actually very bluish. Now some pictures in my office again here have to say the LE2's picture is a lot sharper compared to the Redmi Note 3. Both of the pictures do have a considerable noise, but again, the LE2 is a little bit sharper. Just look at the camera. Now moving to the front facing camera here, I feel the LE2 pictures look a little bit pale. Uh, here I feel the Redmi Note 3 does slightly better, but again, both of them have that aggressive beauty face option. So tone it down for uh, natural looking pictures. Recording this uh, video with the front facing camera of this LE2, and uh, I am not uh, doing any editing or something like that. Uh, so this is in uh, natural lighting, sort of uh, it's evening. Uh, I wouldn't say it's directly in the sunlight. I'll also record a sample footage with the Redmi Note uh, 3's front facing camera to give you an idea. Now recording this uh, video with the Redmi Note 3's front facing camera, the audio is also being recorded uh, with the front facing camera. So this should give you an idea about the video recording with the front facing camera of the Redmi Note 3. Recording this video at 4K with this uh, Leco LE2, it can record in 4K 
so this is at 4k and now what i'll do is i'll just walk around to give you an idea about the stabilization if you move uh, with 4k i doubt it's a good idea to move uh, when you shoot 4k because it does not have any stabilization but anyways uh, this is the sample uh, video at uh, 4k with the le2 so recording this video side by side with the redmi note 3 and the Lico le2 so that you can get an idea uh, which one is uh, doing uh, better and there is a little bit of wind now and what i'll do is i'll just be walking around to give you an idea and i'm recording this at 1080p to see which one does uh, better than stabilization both of them don't have any optical stabilization but if they employ uh, software stabilization this should give you an idea so what do i feel about the camera performance as you have seen from the sample shots uh, definitely i would say if camera is the highest priority then the le2 goes ahead uh, i feel the le2 produce more uh, natural looking colors and even in sharpness it were the pictures were slightly sharper compared to this uh, redmi note 3 particularly in artificial lighting i would say uh, the colors were a lot off on this uh, redmi note uh, 3 also when it comes to video uh, though in terms of 4k video i would not recommend this le2 though it has that option because the stabilization is not there and the videos come out to be very very shaky uh, with a little bit of over sharpening and artifacts uh, though the 1080p video was good but what i really like in terms of video and even the video that we shot with the front facing camera the exposure was good and the audio pickup was actually really good on the le2 whereas the audio pickup was actually sort of very poor on the redmi note 3 so even for video i would say the le2 would get my vote but i would simply not recommend using the 4k option so when it comes to just camera performance i would say uh, the le2 would get my vote compared to the redmi note 3 again i have also posted other videos on this le2 so again make sure you check them out I'll also be posting my full in-depth review very soon. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.